Hi, I wanted to do another video. Uh, this is a little bit different than I normally uh, do a video of. Uh, normally I talk about Seattle and the uh, problems that Seattle has, but this time I wanted to talk about something else. Um, somebody had talked to me the other day um, on uh, YouTube and uh, we were discussing the issue of money. And one of them was, why doesn't the U.S. government print its own money? Well, it says here, many seem to be confused by the question. So I'm going to get you up to speed on it. The Federal Reserve, the entity that prints U.S. currency, isn't actually part of the U.S. government. It's not? Oh, I thought it was. It is not financed by the U.S. government. It's not? Its employees are not considered government employees. If you look closely, it is absolutely not part of the judicial, legislative, or executive branch. As it stands, the Federal Reserve prints money and we borrow it, but we borrow it with interest. The often overlooked problem with this is that at the time that the money is created by the Fed, out of thin air that is, the interest on that money is not also created. They don't create the interest. They create the money, sort of like uh, you have a glass, you know, a ma magician has a glass and uh, there's no water in it and he's thirsty so he creates the water, then he drinks the water and uh, the side effect is he gets hungry again. The side effect would be sort of like the interest. He didn't create the interest, he created the water. Um, it says here, the often overlooked problem that with this is that at the time the money is created, the Fed, out of thin air, uh, out of thin air that is, uh, the interest on that money is not also, is not also created. Where will that money come from? Well, eventually the U.S. government will have to go back to the Fed to borrow more money. So the Fed is a loan shark. And just like any loan shark, they will loan you money, but when you pay them back, you have to pay back an exuberant amount of money. We've gotten ourselves into a system in which we will have to perpetually borrow money, more and more money to pay off the debt. Sort of like those payday loans, you know, like uh, you don't get paid until the first and you're short on cash. So you borrow, say, $350 and uh, you have to pay it back on payday. So you take 300 and say 300, they say they charge you 50% or $50 on that 350. So now you gotta pay back 400. Well, in order to pay back the 400, you have to take $400 out of your check, which means that you're $400 short now. But guess what? They will let you borrow $350 towards your next payday but you have to pay them an extra $50 for the privilege of doing that. So now you've got yourself into a I cannot get out of debt scenario. You borrowed the 350, you paid back the 400, so you borrow 350 to ease the stress of the $400 you just paid off. Now, as we expand the money supply to pay off the debt, it creates inflation. This is why the Fed is always coming out with targets for inflation because it's unavoidable in the current system. Do you like that your money is worth less and less each year? 
A simple question we should all ask is, why do we borrow the money in the first place? Shouldn't it be ours to print and keep in circulation as we need it for government expenditures and day-to-day -day commerce? Perhaps my question should have been, one, why do we, the U.S. government and the people it represents, borrow our money from a private institution instead of print or print it ourselves debt free? That's the way the Constitution said we were supposed to do it. The government was supposed to print the money. The government was supposed to regulate the currency, not a private entity like the Fed. Two, what would the effects be if the government did, in fact, cut out the Fed and print its own currency without debt? John F. Kennedy tried that, and got, look what it got him. It got him killed. I have my own opinions, but I'm curious what the average person who watches my video is going to say about this. What do you think? I personally think that the Fed is a pile of crap, personally. I think that uh, they're like mafia. They weaseled their way in to, uh, uh, to the point where they saw us in a bind. They were willing to take over. Uh, the government got lazy and the government decided it was too much work to do what the Founding Fathers expected of them. And now we've gotten ourselves into a hole. We have dug ourselves into a hole to the point where we cannot fix it even if we tried to fix it. Anyway, that's been All Things Considered because I consider all things.